You're not getting this. I was taken to heaven one time, and I'm going to make it short. And I've said it before to some people, and in fact, in church. And my mother's cousin brother uh, was sick, and I didn't even know it. So I'm taken to heaven, and I'm seeing my brother there. You will find it in the book, I Went to Heaven, or My Vision of Heaven, very soon. And after seeing him and everything, talking to him, he said, let me show you something. He showed me his leg and stuff like he had cancer at one time. So he showed me his leg and I was like, oh, you, this thing is really, really well. It's like, yeah, nothing, nothing wrong with me here. You know. And there's no speech like what you would think speech, you know, like talk. When it's happening in the visions, even <laughs> all the visions I've had with the Lord, you only come out of the vision and then start wondering. He never opened his mouth. I just understood him. So I keep telling you, when you get to heaven, you think, I'll ask so many questions. You won't. You enter heaven like this. Your own doubts are answered immediately. Everything is done. You now know, oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was supposed to happen. And now hear this. He says, let me go. He says, look. First, one direction where the, the pearl gets wet. And he said, look, that's our mother's brother, you know, in Africa. It's not Ango, it's brother. And that's more, you know, closer to the truth than, you know, British people don't like relatives. Cousin. First cousin, second cousin. Africa is sister, brother. Even your own father's young brother is little father. It doesn't mean even if he's 90, he's a uh, small father. <laughs> now this one is uncle. You never know. The uncles are too many. The cousins are too many. And the nephews are too many. You don't even know which one are they trying to say. Are you getting this now? And he says, our uncle is actually has just arrived. Let me rush there. He ran. And I'm seeing the men enters, and everyone is excited. Two or three people are greeting him. There are not so many people. Two men, three people are greeting him, and my brother joined, like, wow, I want to show you. And I'm standing from afar, and I'm hearing them converse. Came back, called my mom. Mom, your brother is dead? She said, no, I just left the house. He's alive, but he's sick. I said, no, he's dead. I started arguing with my mother that he's actually dead. I said, why? I said, because I saw him in heaven. Is he believing God? He said, no, we led him to Christ and people have already spoken to him about Christ. Today. I said, he is in, I said, no. I said, about uh, three days prior to that, they'd already started talking to him about Christ. I said, okay. I saw him dead. So she called, said, call me later. I called. I said, no, he's there. He's still there. I actually had to go back. I didn't call. I went back and I spoke to him. He's still there. I said, I don't know what that means. The man is dead. I saw him in heaven. Two days later, he died. Now, who was telling the truth? Me or them? Me, of course. Why? Because I was seeing him in the spirit, dead. He had already arrived in heaven, yet he was still on earth. Imagine, we might be with you now. 